Hey y'all, welcome back to another modding tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to unpack, edit, and then repack your coalesced underscore int dot bin file for Mass Effects 1 and 2 in the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Once you learn how to do this, you'll be able to manually combine your coalesced based mods or simply how to edit the file for a personal edit. This method will only work for Mass Effect 1 and 2 in the Legendary Edition. Just apply this method to whichever of the two games that you'd like to edit. The first step is going to be to create a modding folder anywhere that you'd like. I'd suggest naming it something simple and you'll see why in a minute. For today's modding tutorial, we'll name it Modding M-E-L-E. The next step is to locate your coalesced underscore int dot bin file for whichever of the two games you want to mod. Today we're going to use Mass Effect 2 as an example. That should be located in your game folder, which is located wherever either Steam or Origin has it installed. Once you have your game folder located, you need to navigate to your cooked PC console folder, which is located under Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Game, Select which game you'd like, today we'll be doing ME2, bio game, and then cooked PC console. Once in the cooked PC console folder, either scroll down to find the coalesced underscore int dot bin file or simply search for it. From there, you need to make a backup copy of it somewhere. I personally have two different backup copies of it. After you have a backup copy of your file made, make one additional copy of it and place it in the modding folder that we created earlier. Now you need to download the coalesced modding tools available called Ellie Cole by D00T Elemental on GitHub. I will leave a link for that in the description down below. Once you've downloaded the program, you'll want to unpack it either using WinRAR, 7-Zip or something similar. Once you have unpacked the file, you'll now have a folder with several different files in it. Take those files and copy them into the modding folder you had created earlier. I suggest just copying and not moving them so you always have a backup copy of the files. You're officially now ready to unpack your coalesced underscore int dot bin file. In your modding folder that you've created, hold down the shift key and right click. You'll now have an option for open PowerShell window here. Click that and you'll see that a brand new window has popped up. In that window, you'll need to type in a command to unpack your file. The last part of what you'll need for this command is going to be specific to the drive and folder you have it installed in. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll type in where I have mine created, but you'll need to change it to reflect your own files. The quickest way to see exactly where your file is located is by being in the folder with the files, look up at the top bar and you'll see a drive. You only need the initial for it and then the rest of the file path. Once you have that information, let's type in the command, which will be the following. Period backslash le col dot exe space unpack space coalesced underscore int dot bin and then the directory information which for me would be r colon backslash modding mele and then hit enter if uh you've done everything correctly oh when you hit enter you should see that in your modding folder a whole bunch of files are now unpacked now make sure that you do not delete the mele dot extracted bin file which is now in there or the tools that you moved into it earlier, you will need these down the road. And one quick piece of information for when you're typing in the directory for the file at the end of the command. If you've nested your folders, for instance, modding M-E-L-E, and then you have a second folder called M-E-1, you need to make sure that the directory follows the entire nested path of the folders, so then that way it can find the files. The next step is to select whichever file you want to edit, right click to open it with either Notepad or Notepad++. I personally suggest Notepad++ as it's easier when editing these kinds of files. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Now at this point, you can make any adjustments that you'd like to these files, or alternatively, if you've found a few different mods on, let's say, Nexus mods that you'd like to add in to your file, you can go ahead and start combining everything now. 
this is where you can also make changes such as uh, adding new stuff to Shep's locker. So you could change different casual outfits. You could add in new armors. You can change up uh, certain kinds of notifications. You can change which weapons can be used by particular classes or companions, so on and so forth. If you need some inspiration for what can be done within this type of modding, I suggest checking out the Mass Effect Legendary Edition uh, section of Nexus. And make sure to save your work before exiting whichever program you're using in order to edit the files. Now, once you're done editing your folder, it's time to repack it. To do that, you need to reopen your PowerShell window by once again holding down the Shift key and right-clicking in the folder. Select pa Open PowerShell window here. Then in the window, you'll need to type in the following command. Dot backslash le cole dot exe space pack space the directory that we used prior so in this case for me it would be r colon backslash modding mele space coalesce underscore int dot bin and then hit enter now in the directory you should have a freshly updated coalesced file you can tell by the date modified stamp that is available when looking at your files the other thing that you can do is if you want to make sure it 100 percent packs freshly you can delete the original coalesced underscore int dot bin file and then when it repacks the file it'll create a brand new one for you both are totally fine to do now that you have this file recreated, copy and paste it into your game folder where we had found the original coalesced underscore int dot bin file and then allow it to overwrite when prompted. From there, load into your game and test out your changes. A few important things to note. Because all of the files stay unpacked in that modding folder you created, if you decide to make any edits, changes, anything like that, all you need to do is simply repack the file again so you don't need to repeat the unpacking step provided you leave all of the unpacked files where they are. Now the other thing to note though is that if you want to start from scratch and edit a clean coalesced underscore int dot bin file, you will need to go ahead and delete all of the files that were unpacked and then repeat the steps again. Now if you want to make coalesced changes to both ME1 and ME2 at the same time, I highly suggest making a separate folder for each game and then label them accordingly for ease of use. Just make sure to repeat the steps for each of the game slash coalesced files. Otherwise though, that is pretty much everything that you need to know in order to get started on editing these files for Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 for the Legendary Edition. I hope this helped if you are having any trouble doing it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye.